Well, hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Deucing. Today I'm going to show you some things. Okay, as we saw on the last video, we had a 3.8 V6 from a 97 Camaro. And originally the engine was pulled out because it had bad head gaskets and you cannot take the heads off with it in the body and in the unibody and all that good stuff. So now the engine had, had, had its heads redone because the heads were off. They checked the trueness of the heads and they were way off and they had to be milled down a little bit. So now there's a check for the block trueness. And that's what I'm going to show you, how to check the trueness of a block. First you start out with a known true surface. Take an edge to a machine shop and have it trued and the machine shop can you know, grind it to make sure it is a true straight edge and a three thousandths feeler gauge. So in order to do this, we have to run the truing tool across the block. And when it's true, you should be able to get a three thousandths feeler gauge in any part. Then you move yourself up a little bit at a time, check the three thousandths feeler gauge cannot get in in the thing. And uh, you can also use a two thousandths to see if it's even close first. Do that first. If you can get a two thousandths in there and the three thousandths won't fit, you're still within limits. So we're kind of going and moving our way up the block. And you do that with both sides so you didn't just waste all your money on buying nice new head gaskets and having the heads all trued up just to find out the block is not true. So you're doing this to save yourself a lot of pain and misery from doing your engine all over again when you find out something else is not aligned. And we did it horizontally, now we're going to go the other way. So you always check the trueness throughout the engine, sideways and check all the truenesses throughout at various angles so you can see that the feeler gauge doesn't fit in because three thousandths is the limit that it doesn't fit and the block is true so you didn't just waste your time and money getting your heads all trued and milled just to find out your block is crooked then you end up cracking your heads or damaging and warping them again which is quite counterproductive and I would recommend doing it a few times at different angles as well and of course the other side to make sure you don't see anything where the 3000 feeler gauge fits in with this true verified straight edge. So I hope this helps you guys out if you're changing head gaskets on an engine and you come to find out, you know, there's always a reason why a head gasket blows, whether it's the heads warped, whether it overheats, because when iron overheats, it expands different than when aluminum overheats. So when this engine overheated initially, it got to the point where the iron expanded different than the aluminum, and that created the warp hitch and blew the head gaskets. So head gaskets usually don't blow for no reason. So when we did the research on this engine, we found out the heads were warped big time, and they had to have some thousands milled off of them. So there you have it. So there's always a reason you're changing a head gasket. So, you know, nine times out of ten, you don't just throw a new head gasket on and call it good. So remember that. And I hope this advice helps some of you guys out there that have had blown head gaskets in the past. You want to verify things are true before you go and reassemble everything, throw it back in the car, and then blow more head gaskets. So. Hey, I hope you liked what I showed you today on checking for trueness on a 3.8 engine block in a 1997 Camaro. And if you like us on Budget Boosting, like us on our Facebook page, like us on our YouTube page, go to budgetboosting.com, check out our stuff there, and check out our window stickers. They're on eBay Buy It Now auctions. Practically every video we have has a place you can click to check out the window stickers. I've had a lot of people ask me about window stickers. You just go to the, one of our videos and it'll say, hey, window stickers, click on it, or go to budgetboosting.com, click on the icon for window stickers, you'll go right to the eBay Buy It Now auctions. And remember, knowledge is power, it's horsepower. And your adjustable Kamiari timing chain tensioner, which the factory has problems over time where the factory oil powered chain tensioner can sometimes overextend when you're changing chains and fold over and then you're gonna have a problem with your valves hitting your pistons. So Kamiari fixed it with this adjustable timing chain tensioner. If you look inside, you'll see gears Instead of a little that actually gear. 